Well, before we get into this next little episode, I just want to talk about a couple of things real quick. Uh, first of all, thanks for watching and subscribing. It means a lot to us. Brenda would be here to say hi and thanks as well, but she's actually at the store getting groceries for our next passage while I'm sitting on my butt because I broke some toes. But I did get a fancy new shoe out of the deal. It's not all bad. If you want to read about that, go to the link down in the description. Kind of bored, really. So, thought I'd talk to you. So the big thing I want to talk about though is our plans. You may or may not know these videos are not exactly in real time. They're a, a couple of months behind what we're actually doing. Um, the big reason for that is we're generally out screwing around having fun instead of sitting on the boat making videos. So even though these videos show us going south, we're actually heading north right now to avoid Mexico's upcoming hurricane season, which uh, really is kind of knocking on the door. Uh, and while we're up in the Sea of Cortez for the summer, uh, doing our best to avoid a hurricane, we're going to be giving out the free eye exams and glasses, which you may or may not have seen in some of the past videos. But uh, while we're up there doing that, there's actually a couple of other things we'd like to do as well. And you may be able to help us. So, if you are interested in helping out, go to the link down below and uh, read all about it. And thanks. I hope you enjoy the episode. In our last episode, we explored the remote village of Yalapa. With a light wind forecast, we went back to sea for what was supposed to be an easy 24-hour passage south to the village of Chamela. Now there goes Yalapa behind us, heading south. It's a pretty cool little town, but a pretty rough little anchorage. Uh, the little bay there. It's swell just funneled straight in out of the northwest, so we had a pretty bouncy night, but um, beautiful place for sure. Brenda's getting the fishing gear ready. She's got her new shades on. She looks like a cop from the 80s. Or Charlie's Angel, whichever. Excited? Yep, I'm gonna catch some fish today. Think so? Yep. He's really liked this guy. So we talked to some of the locals. Fishing's been pretty slow everywhere. So it's just not us. Yeah, it might be us, but We're giving it our best shot. Now we got Mike Uneasy back there. We got uh, Cabo Corrientes, which is right over here. It's an infamous cape around these parts, uh, but not too shabby today. It's, uh, Actually fairly smooth sailing. Got about 15 knots directly on the stern and a little bit of a funky swell going on, but it's not too bad. The start of this passage could easily be defined as idyllic. With a warm, gentle breeze and fairly calm seas, it really couldn't get much better. Shortly after we rounded the cape, things began to build, and rather quickly. The gentle 15 knots of breeze we had to start jumped up into the mid 30s and crept up into the low 40s. Do you have phone service? Yep. Really? I do. All the way out, 12 miles offshore, and I've got phone service. It's amazing. <laughs> It's <laughs> great. And the seas? Well, they were building fast too. Now we got about 35 knots of breeze, gusting in the low 40s. Snuck up on us. Friend is on her phone. Oh man! About 15 miles offshore and she had cell service. It's amazing. But now, uh, now it's gone. But it's surprisingly comfortable for uh, the amount of breeze and the amount of waves we got. Last time we were in 40 plus, we got hammered. This time it's not so bad. Don't know why that is, but happy about it. So, I'm gonna have some lunch. Hopefully we don't blow chunks. Guacamole. Pretty 
you're good. Well, it was quite a day. It was supposed to be a light wind sail, and uh, still got 30 knots now, and uh, up into the 40s for quite a bit of the day. Yeah, excitement. But we're moving along, cooking. Megan's pretty good time. Mike's back there in the background somewhere. Flying solo, just talked to him on the radio, took a nap for a, a bit, and uh, he's doing just fine. It's gonna be a long night. Well, this is Chamila. Pulled in last night around two in the morning. We planned a overnight passage to get here in the morning, but uh, with 35, 40 knots of breeze, we went pretty fast. So got here in the middle of the night, but uh, entrance was pretty easy. Piece of cake. Followed all these shrimp boats in. I think they were escaping the 40 knot breeze too. All anchored for the night. Looks like they're starting to get ready to head out. And since we are somewhere new, we had to check the place out, which means a dinghy surf landing. Definitely not one of our favorite things. That's called an expert surf landing. We've seen quite a few dinghies get flipped in the surf during our time in Mexico. But for us, we've luckily stayed high and dry. Pretty easy one today. How's your beach? It's great. Beautiful beach. Oh look, a flying camera. It's a drone. We got a drone. <laughs> Yeah, what are your, the film crew rates? Yeah. <laughs> Mike's our official drone now. Chamela is a pretty typical, tiny Mexican coastal town. And for us cruisers, it has just about anything we might need. And after a somewhat rough passage south, it was a perfect place to spend the day and stretch our legs. The real reason we were in Chamela was for an uncharted anchorage just a couple miles south and deeper into the bay. With the help of some waypoints from our good friends on Full Monty, we weaved our way south and dropped the hook. So we just got anchored. Uh, we're in a little spot. There's absolutely zero chart data, uh, but we did get some waypoints from our good friends on Full Monty when they were making their way south. Uh, they anchored here and uh, gave us the entrance and the spot to drop the hook. And as you can see right there, we're anchored on land. This is a pretty common occurrence in Mexico. None of the charts are very accurate. There you go. That's where we're at. If you want to find us, look for us on land. And behind us over there, which is the big reason we're here, there's a surf break. Uh, we can hop in and paddle right to the break and surf to our heart's content. So, after scrubbing some barnacles off the bottom of the boat, some sunset surfing had to happen with my good friend Mike. Yep, there's almost nothing better. Sunset surf session. Oh yeah. With Mike. And the next morning, we took the dinghy to one of the neighboring islands to investigate some reported bat caves. Where are you going? I'm out of here, that's scary. We're going in the ravine. Supposedly there are bats in here. Following the surge. 
I think this is a good idea. Or it's not. That was pretty painless. <laughs> Here comes Jeff. <laughs> How's that? Oh, exciting. Nice job. That's where we were supposed to come in. <laughs> yeah, there's the back cave. Yeah? Oh yeah, it smells like them. <laughs> oh my god! Pretty cool in there, but it smells horrendous! Did you catch any of them? Oh, it's too dark. Oh, I saw a couple flying, but... It's so dark in there, even with my red light on. Couldn't see them. But I could smell them. That was disgusting. Wanna go back? No. I can't, I couldn't even, I saw one bat and I couldn't tolerate it anymore. I almost threw up. Yeah, it smells really bad. It'd be cool to hang out in there a little longer, but I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Pretty cool cave though. Yeah, it feels like I can taste it. Yeah, yeah me too. It's still in my back. <laughs> Really cool. You should go back and check it out. You know, get just suck up the the aroma, the, smell and the just taste. Go. I mean, it's, uh, it'd be fun to go a little bit further back. Mike's going back for round two. I have a feeling there's one back there, but. I mean, all these bats, like, you know, sure, they won't run into you, but they're shitting on them. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, we were out of there. The best way to wash off some impressive stench from the bat caves? Well, that's easy. It's riding some more waves. So, join us next time as we make our way farther down the coast to Bahia Tenacatina. <laughs>